Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 6 on your side. Breaking news is first at 6. An Associated Press source says the NFL had access to the video showing former Baltimore Ravens running back Ray, uh, Ray Rice punching his fiance as far back as April this year. Now this account directly contradicts statements made by the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Our sports director Tim Brandt's here now with what we're learning. Tim. I've been after the commissioner's inconsistencies from the beginning of this story. Now according to the Associated Press, a law enforcement official says he sent the video of Ray Rice punching his then fiance to an NFL executive five months ago. And while NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has maintained that the league never got the video, the person played a 12 second voicemail from an NFL office number April 9th, confirming that the video had arrived. And on that voicemail, a female voice expresses thanks and says, you're right. It is terrible. Well, the law enforcement official speaking to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity said he had no further communications with any NFL employee and can't confirm anyone watched the video. The person goes on to say they were unauthorized to release the video but shared it unsolicited because they wanted the NFL to have it before deciding on Rice's punishment. Now, he asked the Associated Press not to release his name of the NFL executive for fear that the information would identify the law enforcement official as well as the source. Folks, this sheds new incriminating light on the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell. The voicemail will now have to be explained by the league and by Roger Goodell, but he has to be held accountable and his inconsistencies have to be considered by the team owners who will eventually decide the commissioner's future. All right. Damning, damning be, information. Yeah, to be continued. Thank yeah. you, Tim.